Hi everyone, it's Christoph Chu again from Coal Banker Previews International in Beverly Hills with my good friend Mohammed Magdi here at Coal Banker United Arab Emirates. And Mohammed is one of the top salesmen here at the Dubai offices. And I believe you've been the top salesman number one at the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, and in my opinion, one of the most luxurious condo buildings in the world. And he's been such a gracious guide as my right-hand man for most of this trip, giving me so many wonderful experiences in Dubai, from camel rides in the desert, to dune bugging, to parties with the sheikh and yachts and penthouses. This guy knows Dubai. <laughs> so, Mohammed, thank you again for your friendship. And, you know, we first met four years ago at Gen Blue New Orleans. We saw each other in New York, Los Angeles, then Chicago. This guy takes the time to fly all the way from Dubai to the United States every year to go to Gen Blue to build his network, build his connections, so that he can sell more properties here in Dubai and have the right referral network to his people out in the US. So uh, I'm really honored to be your friend and I'm honored for all the time you spent. So I'd like you to share with us. And first of all, I would like to welcome you to Dubai. You, uh, you added to us this few days, you added to the team, you added uh, to uh, like lots of people in, in our office, like learned new technologies and new, uh, new steps from you. So thank you so us for being kind and being uh, motivated to everyone and being uh, here with us. Thank you. Well, it's my pleasure. Well, I think in life when you, you each give from your heart to each other, that's when the best things happen. And I think we both did that. Yes. And it's been truly a magical, magical experience. Yeah. I hate to go. It's going to be 10 days and I hate to go. Don't go with us. <laughs> oh, but we're going to be back soon. Don't worry. Definitely, definitely. Um, so Beverly Hills is quite, Beverly Hills is very similar to Dubai. We have the beach, we have the high rises, we have lots of different micro markets, like from Beverly Hills to Santa Monica, Hollywood Hills. Uh, Dubai is quite the same, and the first day we went on a helicopter, we toured the city, and Muhammad showed us the world island, and Jumeirah, Palm Jumeirah, and uh, what's that fancy area with the country club and the most expensive part of Dubai, remember? Uh, uh, the Emirates Hills. Emirates Hills, and downtown Burj Khalifa, uh, all the different areas. So. Sure, and it's very similar to the United States, except for different language, different culture, different food, um, but really special. So tell the consumers from around the world, what would be the difference between buying a villa on Jumeirah Island or a condo there versus a downtown condo or a marina district condo, or just share some of the five or six main areas that people could buy and you know, briefly what those areas are all about. Uh, basically, Dubai uh, built in communities. Right. So there's different communities in the city, like downtown, you would have the Dubai Fountain, Burj Khalifa, and uh, the Dubai Mall, the, the biggest uh, shopping mall in uh, Dubai. Yes. Everyone loves to shop. Yeah, <laughs> it actually hits like 55 million visitors uh, last year, during last year. 55 million visitors to the mall? To the mall, yeah. Wow. So, and uh, the population of uh, Dubai is 2.5 million, so it's like 22 times more than That's people amazing. are living here. Got it. And remind uh, me, is the downtown area different than the financial district? They're connected, but they're they somewhat different. different yeah. Right. Yeah. So who would live in, who would want to buy in the financial district, for example? The bars in the financial district are mainly like the people in, into our finance and stock market. Right. So uh, they can be close to the offices. And right. the, the, the financial district actually uh, have, uh, almost have the, the, the top like five, uh, 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 restaurant and five, uh, Good destination for going out. Interesting. Yeah. So the financial like the finance and Zuma, uh, the, the famous Japanese restaurant in okay. in, in, in DIFC. Okay. Good Dubai International Financial Center. Uh, so the shortcut is DIFC. So in DIFC you find Zuma, you find uh, Rupertus, you find Lobitik Maison, yep. you find the most famous uh, chains and brands for the for restaurant and fine dining. Is there. In downtown. So it's in, in, a, in financial center. Oh, it's in yeah. financial center. Right. So it's a destination of going out during the night. As well, it's uh, the, mo the most dynamical uh, business area in Dubai during the daytime. Got it. Yeah. And then there's Emirates Hill, which is like gated communities with golf courses. Very Emirates, luxurious. Emirates, Emirates Hill is like a very, very luxury and high-end properties in Dubai. So okay. if you need, if you are looking for a huge house with a basement and uh, your private garden, your private pool, like right. six to seven to six to eight bedrooms uh, house, right. your your choice will be the, the priority. The first choice you will have it is Emirates Hill. Right. They offer you a big plot over there, like plots of like an average of 
40,000 square feet. Uh, okay. Lots? Lots. Okay. Yeah. And we've built up more than 20,000 square feet. I see. So we offer huge houses, huge big, big properties. Yeah, big, big properties, yeah. But now if you want to be in the beach, which you took me to a beautiful villa on uh, Jumeirah. Definitely, Jumeirah. you cannot go wrong with Palm Jumeirah. Palm Jumeirah <laughs> is the best place where you can have the waterfront view. Right. You are, you are having your, uh, your, your private swimming pool. You have private a, beach. A, a, yeah. This is what I'm going to talk about, actually. In Palm Jumeirah, uh, the plot is not huge, it's like 14,000 square feet plot. Right. With 7,000 built up area, like five, six maximum, the, the biggest uh, villa yes. or, or house in Palm Jumeirah yes. is a six bedroom villa. Yes. It's not that huge, but the facilities around you, having a private beach, having a private walk on the beach, right. having a, your, your private zone on, on, in, in an island, a, a human made island on the water. Right. So it's like, it gives you a lot of happiness. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually a good place for big families, for uh, for uh, for uh, for like kids to enjoy the uh, the pool and beach. And beach lifestyle, yeah, very quietly. Very yeah. quietly. And in Dubai, uh, the weather here like we, you can swim uh, 12 years in the month <laughs> because that's, we, it's never rains. This is supposed to be winter time, but it's like 84 degrees. Yeah, so it's yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also in the Jumeirah Island. I think all the streets, or most of the residential streets, are all gated. Yeah. Uh, not that you need security here, because this is one of the safest places I've ever been. But it's nice, some people like to have a gated street on the water, so you just feel kids are running on the street, dogs with nannies, it's just a very relaxed, comfortable atmosphere. And But also, I think people should know it's not just super luxury here in Dubai. There are all those apartments and condos that I think can start at, what, Few hundred thousand in Dubai, right? Someone could buy a small investment uh, here for a couple can, hundred you thousand. Can, you can you can own a holiday home in Dubai, starting from uh, two hundred thousand dollars, which is uh, affordable to anyone. Right. And uh, it will cost you yearly around uh, to run uh, to run the service charge. And uh, of course, in Dubai, there is no taxation; it's taxation free. So we just have to pay like yearly around. I would say three thousand dollars just just the, the running cost. Right. Which There's no property taxes yeah. under that. No property is, taxes. We know how much property taxes are yeah. in the U.S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so here's a totally different story. Like, there's no property taxes. Uh, it's only going by like you, uh, like service charge, right. community charge, homeowners dues, or yeah, yeah, charges. yeah, yeah, homeowner, yeah, yeah, homeowners yeah. yeah. and the, the one-time tax only, the the transfer fees, which is also here in Dubai, it's not that much. It's like you are paying four percent. Transfer fees on, on the property each time you, you, you do a resale. So right. You, to transfer from uh, owner A to owner to the new owner, it's just 4% taxation. Yeah, got it. Yeah, and so also, um, you know, the Hyder market was the first day he took me to see three penthouses he has at the 102nd floor of the Burj Khalifa, three different units he could combine. Those are about 10 million US dollars per uh, unit. Each one, yeah. Right. Around the so you're looking at about 10,000 square feet. Uh, about 30 million roughly, so about 3,000 foot. So it's still a really a bargain compared to New York City yes. or Hong Kong or London. No, the thing is that in this one, it's like let's let's uh, let's say like uh, recall it. It's a 12,000 square feet yeah. worth 30 million dollars on the 102nd floor. This is the highest residential apartment or penthouse in whole entire UAE. Yes. Probably in the world. Well, I think New York has got a couple of new buildings that are. Hundred like second. Hundred yes. second is the highest in the, in the entire UAE and Middle East. Yes, but I'll tell you, if you've never been to a hundred and second floor penthouse condo, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And we went to the Marina District, which is a whole different vibe. A lot of walking outdoors, the marina, the boats. Marina is uh, with their boats and marina and the uh, marina itself and uh, the the nightlife happening over there and uh, the high rise building. It's. Uh, I would call it it's a, it's a it's a European district in Dubai. Yes, because yes. all the all the European uh, preferably they would love they would love to stay and live uh, in the marina. Uh, you have in marina in marina area you have like uh, your neighborhood is like an open air uh, mall with right. uh, five hundred retail store and right. restaurants on the beach right. called the beach. Yeah, and you have the JBR walk. Yeah. and you have the marina walk over the marina and the boat. Yes. So, it's a destination of having fun, destination of going out, yeah. destination of dining, destination yeah. of uh, being on the beach during the daytime, yeah. destination of practicing yoga and okay. doing the sports in the five, six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. And it's, yeah it's, I felt it was more of a yeah. relaxed environment. Yeah. He took me to the Twisted Tower, which is an architecturally significant building. We were on what floor? We were on the 20, 29th, 29th floor, yeah. overlooking the marina. 
the Burj Al Arab. So look overlooking the ocean the and the marina. The but more of a relaxed atmosphere than kind of being in the hub of downtown and the Burj Khalifa. Mm -hmm. um, so again, lots of different districts. But what's nice about it is they're all kind of 15, 20, 30 minutes away from each other. So. I mean, we've been zipping and zooming all around the city. Lunch in downtown, dinner at the Burj uh, Al Arab. So it's kind of, it's not unlike LA where it's so vast, mm -hmm. you get to get around to the different districts pretty easily. Mm -hmm. So other than that, what are some other thoughts you want to share with buyers from around the world that are considering coming to Dubai to purchase? Anything you want them to know or yes. where they should start? Dubai is a, is a city, city of life. Dubai is a city yes. of life. Because it's uh, occupied of, uh, around 200 different nationalities. Uh, 2.5 people are living here in Dubai in, in, in peace. Like, uh, it's, it's a great uh, network to know about other cultures. It's a great place of having fun. It's a great place of nightlife, if you like nightlife. It's a great place to, uh, to enjoy your summer vacation. It's a great place of, uh, of investment, uh, taxation free. It's, uh, it's the most safest place as of now, I would say, in the entire world, because in Dubai, we, we have, a, we have like, you, you can sleep and you leave your home, and you may not open. No one will come and steal you. It's true. Yeah. Security cameras, cameras everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> Security everywhere. Like, maybe they are watching us right now. I mean, exactly. <laughs> but I will say that's one of the things I loved. But we came here for a couple of specific parties our friends were throwing. And we saw many of our friends from around the world, so there were at least 30 different nationalities that we knew that all came for these events. Mm -hmm from Europe, from China, from other parts of Asia, from the United States, from Mexico, Canada. So it truly is, they say 200, 200 different nationalities live here. Everyone wants to come here and visit here because truly it is the dynamic city. Yeah. It's a fun city. It's so modern and forward thinking and luxurious, but yet the old culture. We visited the old soup markets in the old town yesterday, which is a very different experience than the new Dubai, which is where all the new construction is going on. So it's got the yin and the yang, the plus and the minus, but really an exciting and wonderful city. Wonderful opportunities here for investors, vacationers, but just to come and have some fun. And if you do, contact my friend Mohammed here at Cold Banker United Arab Emirates. Anytime. anytime. He knows everybody. Anytime. This man is super connected <laughs> like I am in Beverly Hills. I know how to get you around Beverly Hills. I'm going to change my last name soon. I'm going to be Mohammed Nagdi Chou. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're my brother. We're international brothers. So. Yes, yes. So Mohammed, you truly are my brother from another mother in Dubai. <laughs> thank you. My so close much. friend and thank you so much. Thank appreciate you so much. all of your thank kindness you so and thank you, you gotta much. come visit Dubai. Experience. Anytime, 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 you are most welcome guys to come and express our Dubai, our city of life. The crown jewel of the Middle East. Thanks for watching guys. Thank See you all so soon. Much. See you soon. Thank you, thank you.